Hello, friend, and welcome back to the 10-Day Entrepreneur Challenge. Today's day five. We are halfway there, and I hope you invested some time thinking about the things you're going to start doing and the things you're going to stop doing, the things that are going to help you achieve the level of success that you want. And today is going to be extremely helpful because I hope one of the things that you realized that you need to start doing is talking to people, is to having more relationships, more quality relationships, because you can determine the success of your business based on the quality of your relationships. If you look around and you just took the sum total of the five closest people to you, you're probably going to see a lot of similarities. Jim Rohn talks about this, who is like the godfather of personal development. Amazing, amazing person. If you ever get a chance, definitely look up his stuff and listen to it. Who are you? Who do you hang out with? What are the relationships that are key to your growth? This is imperative in all areas. Your relationship with the people at home, your ability to influence people, your ability to create business. Creating, building, and maintaining exceptional relationships is absolutely essential. And you're going to consistently learn how to be better at communicating. One of the things that I really love talking about is that there's a difference between influence and manipulation, right? Influence is when you are out there helping people for their benefit. Like right now, my goal is to help you, is to help you grow, to learn, to succeed, to figure out what are those key factors, those key things that are missing. What is that one question? You're always one question away, one thought away of breaking through, of growth. And so my job or my goal is to just continue to challenge you. How are you doing in relationships? One of the things that my wife and I realized about a year ago is that we were playing small. The way that Entrepreneur's Table came about was that I was doing real estate and honestly, like I was just at the point in real estate that it wasn't exciting me anymore. Like I love helping buyers and sellers. Like that was my passion for a long time was the ability to come in and help a seller sell their home for the most amount of money in the least amount of time with the least amount of stress and and really help them get to the, the goal that they wanted. The same thing with a buyer. Like it was fantastic working with a buyer and helping them buy their first home, buy their second home, buy their dream home. It was always about helping them reach a goal and guiding them in that process. This is the same thing. One of the things that we realized when I realized that I wanted to make a change, I realized that I wanted to get back to coaching. I wanted to get back to helping people grow in their life, to own their life with more clarity, growth, and success, is that I realized we were playing small. I realized that we weren't surrounding ourselves around the people that were inspiring us, that were playing at big levels, that were challenging each other. There's a big difference between a group of extremely successful entrepreneurs and a group of $15 an hour workers. You're gonna challenge each other, you're gonna push each other. And that's actually how Entrepreneur's Table got started. We actually were were invited uh, out on Easter on a friend's boat and we were on this island and we had acquaintances that we know but the majority of the families out there were people that that had million dollar businesses. We'll just keep it simple to that standpoint. And we had so much fun and we realized, you know what, like we need to be hanging around these these people more often. We need to build our sphere of influence up a little bit and really push ourselves because we were kind of stagnant. We were kind of flat, right? We were kind of just going through the motions. We had sold 66 houses that year. So we had a great real estate business that was rocking and rolling. We were on our way to 100 at the time. And, but we realized we wanted more. And so I created a table. I created the board of directors where you had to earn a minimum of a million dollars a year and we meet every single month for dinner. Like, this has been a really cool experience. This has been going on now for over a year. And we all get together and we talk about what is our biggest success? What is our biggest challenge? What do we want out of life? And we talk about all kinds of things. But I will tell you what's really interesting is that it's fascinating, and I'm not gonna tell you this person's name or their business, but one of my favorite people, he's worth probably $20 million or more. And we were having conversation talking about who are the five top people that you hang around with? And he was just like, because he's really interested in going from 20 million to 100 million. Now, it's more than just numbers. Like, 
This individual is a fantastic husband, a fantastic dad, a fantastic human being. And he's one of those people in the group that everybody's leveling up to. You want to be really careful that you're not the smartest person in the room because there's a lot that happens that when you put yourself into a room of other like-minded people that are at a high level, you're going to want to grow to their level. You're going to want to level up. You're going to be asking them questions and they're going to be giving you the secret sauce, so to speak. Just like here, you may be wanting to level up and grow and I'm giving you some of the secret sauce. The things that I've learned from other people, from my studies, from my growth, the things that I've implemented in my life and done. But what was fascinating is, is that one of, um, one of the guys that, that has leveled up tremendously, that's really good friends with him, came up and said, what's next? What's next? And he was like, everyone's coming up to my level. I'm out there helping everyone. And I like all you guys, like everything's cool, but I want to get to here. And it was fascinating that there's a level, right? There's a level that we all hit. And one of the ways that you can ensure one of the reasons that people pay $50,000, $100,000 a year for coaching is because they want to get to the next level. They want to surround themselves with a new network. What's your network? Because I guarantee you your network is your net worth. Relationships are the name of the game. Not just in business, but also in life. The ability to have quality relationships. There's so many people in sales that don't talk to enough people. They're afraid to call, they're afraid to email, they're afraid to reach out, they're afraid to look stupid, whatever the case may be. But that's the key. See, tomorrow's video is gonna be about knowing your numbers because there's a real magic that happens when you understand the numbers to the game. If you wanna earn a certain amount of money per year, you just work it backwards. I need this many closings. In order to get this many closings, I need this many contracts. In order to get these contracts, I need appointments. In order to get these appointments, I need relationships. And in order to get relationships, I need to add them to my sphere or to my uh, contact relationship management program, my CRM. So I wanted to give you just kind of a good baseline understanding that I understood this early on. I've been in customer service a long time. I absolutely love communicating with people. I enjoy people. I enjoy talking to people. And it's actually one of my gifts. But I had to continue to improve the way I communicate my thoughts to be more curious, to have better conversations, and to add value to the relationships. This is not a take, take, take. It's a give, 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 if that makes sense. Today, I really wanna kinda help you with the clarity aspect. The, what does this look like? What does relationships mean? And as we're going through today, I want you to jot down what comes up for you the most. What area of this do you need to work on the most? And I have a challenge for you today that will completely change the direction of your relationships. It will completely change and challenge you into communicating more, to create, build, and maintain more often. So let's kind of dive deep into this because I have what's called a business assessment and relationships is one of the top five areas to help you earn more clarity, growth, and success in your business. But this pertains to life as well. But we are talking about entrepreneurship. And so if you want to grow your business, I think it'd be really difficult for you to tell me that relationships is not important. Relationships are the key, right? Everybody's looking to be on social media. They want to build their influence. They want followers. Like that's all relationships. That's all creating, building, and maintaining relationships. You're creating clients. You're creating influencers. You're creating eyeballs. You're creating interest. Do you hear I word create? Creation's a beautiful thing. We were all created. We were all created by a creator. That means that if you're creating, you are going to feel so more alive as you continue to create because that's what we were made to do. We were made to create in all areas. So check this out. The first line here, and one other thing we could do right now I think would be really cool is that I want you to rate yourself. I want you to rate yourself zero that like you suck. Like zero is the absolute worst. And I would guess you're not a zero. So you may be a one or two. I hope not. But zero is at the very bottom. Like you're absolutely not doing this at all and you don't feel like you're doing it well at all. A 10, a 10 is that like, I'm crushing it at a 10. I'm killing it. I am creating, building, maintaining exceptional relationships and I feel it. 
I feel the connection. I feel alive because of it. And my business is growing every single day because of the relationships I have. I have people that I can call and say thank you. I have people I can call for advice. I have people that I can call for support. I have people I can call for a favor. I have people that I give to. So the first line is, I feel loved and cared for by the people I'm surrounded by. Do you feel loved and cared for by the people you're surrounded by? Again, who do you hang out with? Are you hanging around a bunch of people that don't care about you? That talk down to you? Maybe they treat you like dirt? I don't know. Maybe you have an awesome network of people and that's fantastic, that's great. I really want you to think about, do you feel loved and cared for by the people you're surrounded by? Zero to 10. Second one is, I invest time with people who inspire me and that I inspire. My, one of my personal things right now is that there's only two things that matter. To inspire and to be inspired, especially when it comes to relationships. Every single, every single meeting I have, interaction, I have one goal, is to inspire or be inspired or both. Typically both happens. I want to leave like, so I want to leave a conversation where somebody's inspired to grow, inspired to move, inspired to step forward, inspired to face their fears. And that inspires me. Your story inspires me because we all have a story of success. We all have a story of struggle. We all have a, a challenge that we faced. If you're in the thick of it right now, like I get it. But guess what? You're either moving towards the storm, you're either in the storm, or you're moving away from the storm. E.T., uh, Eric Thomas said that. Really, really amazing concept is that when you think about it, it's like everyone has a season, right? What season are you in right now? And this is really important that when you're in the, the season of winter and it's cold and it's freezing and it hurts, relationships will help you get out of that faster. Having people that love and care about you Having people you can call and say, hey man, like I'm having a tough time right now. Will you go have like coffee with me? Or can we have a quick conversation? This is just one factor of it. But do you invest time with people that inspire you to live the life that you want? We talked about what do you want more of? What do you truly want in life? Are you surrounding yourself with people that are helping you get to that? That are inspiring you to feel that, to live that? Zero to 10. I enjoy communicating with people. One of the, this is a really quick and easy one, but I love, I think it's, I don't love it. I think it's interesting that people go into a sales job. I'm gonna use real estate again. People get into real estate and they're like, is there anything I can do so I don't have to talk to people? I'm like, what? You're in the people business. Like life is about people. Do you enjoy communicating with people? I, if you don't, then you probably should get a different career. You should probably go on a different path. Because if you don't enjoy communicating with people, there's an energy you put out. Now I know some days are worse and some days drive you crazy and some, you know, people are people like humans are pretty frustrating people sometimes, right? But what is your energy? What is your thought process? What are you going into the day thinking about? See. We talked about this before, if you want to manifest your vision, if you want success, you got to create the vision. But then you have to become the person. How do they think? How do they talk? What actions do they take? And then consistency over time. I want, we, huh. We're not going to get into determining feelings uh, in this 10-day challenge, but it's something that's really important is how do you want to feel? What are the feelings you want to manifest? Because it's not the money that you want. It's the feelings that the money is going to give you. Boom, that's a big one. Do you wake up every day telling yourself, I love talking to people. I can't wait to hear your story. I can't wait to ask you powerful questions. I can't wait to learn from so-and-so. I'm so excited to call people and say, how are you doing? That's the kind of energy that you need. That's the kind of mindset you wanna have. How are you doing there, zero to 10? Next one. I am able to have productive interactions, influence others, and react positively during difficult situations. How do you react? See, communication is a, a, a big part of relationships. Now, I wanna show you something real quick here. Create, build, and maintain relationships. This is the cycle, 
right? Because if you're in business, which you are, and let's just say, for instance, so I'll give you a really great example here. We talked about me coming in the business and cold calling. When I moved and I got into real estate, I didn't know anybody. Like I literally did not know anybody where I lived. I didn't have a sphere of influence. I wasn't maintaining any relationships. I wasn't building any relationships. I was in pure creation mode. But my mindset was to build a sphere of influence, to help people. I wasn't trying to sell houses. I was trying to help people. I knew that if I created enough relationships and somebody gave me a chance to help them, I would be the best agent to help them because I cared about them. I cared about their goals. I asked them about their goals. I asked powerful questions. I learned how to communicate. It started with creating and that never ended. Constantly creating new relationships, creating new relationships. Listen, you want to break through new levels? You got to create new relationships. You want to go from a million a year to 10 million a year? You want to go from 100,000 to 250,000? Like creating relationships is the name of that game. But it's not just about creating, right? So many people like you could easily go out there and pay for social media ads or you can pay for leads all day long. So you can create, create, create. What about building? What about earning their trust, earning that clientele, earning likability? I enjoy communicating with people. Do you think that if you did not enjoy communicating with people, you'd be likable? Like people need to like you. They want to, people need to like, they want to kind of hang out with you. See, it's really interesting is that the reason that people come to work with you is because you have something that they want that they don't have. Do you understand that? Like people like you because you have something that they want. You have a, a, a feeling, a lifestyle, a business, like whatever that is. And that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. But you need to be likable. You need to be open. You need to smile. Man, we could go down the whole road of how to communicate better. But I want to keep things simple today. Do you have productive interactions? Man, oh, let's talk about drama for a second. So being dramatic is not a productive interaction. It's not influencing others. And it's not reacting positively. Like... Nobody wants to hear about all your drama. So I talked about earlier, like if you have a challenge and a problem and you call a friend and you say, hey, I could use some advice, that's different. But if you're just talking about dramatic things all the time, like, oh, the world's ending and oh, did you hear this? And oh, did you see the news? And oh, like that's not creating a relationship. That's creating drama and negativity. That's not influencing anybody to do anything. It's influencing them to run away or even worse. Drama creates more drama. So you are in a dramatic situation and now you're passing this drama on and that person's passing it on and that person's passing it on. You wanna improve your surroundings? Don't allow drama in your life. Don't allow those type of interactions. Are they productive? Zero to 10, how are you doing here? This is where a lot of people struggle a lot of times, especially the whole influencing others for their benefit. Remember that influencing people is influencing them for their benefit. Like imagine, this is a perfect example. Somehow you and I met. I don't know how that is, but somehow we met. I influenced you for your benefit. I influenced you to sign up for this 10 day challenge. I influenced you to work with me, whatever the case may be for your benefit, because you want to grow, because you want to improve, because you know that there's this breakthrough. You know that there's this step you need to take. You know, there's this vision you want, and that this is one of the ways to get there. Pretty powerful, huh? Like when I have conversations with people, I could rattle off, if you have a, an issue or a problem, I could literally rattle off a book that would help you like that. Influence, influence you to read a book that will help you grow in that area that you're struggling with. Super cool stuff. And this reaction, oh, you wanna create, build, maintain re relationships, you gotta be careful of your reaction, right? Are you a big fire walking around just like lit up? Do you find yourself responding with anger, frustration, annoyance? Like really when you get to the point where you can take kind of yourself out of the conversations and you can really enjoy the pact of influencing and having positive interactions. The other thing is, is that if you're, one of the big things I do now is just walk away. And what I mean by that is that I'll hold space. If I know that I can't have a positive interaction, then I'll walk away. I'll be like, you know what? We need some space. We need some time apart or maybe this isn't the right time because you get nowhere when you're just pounding against each other.
from a negative standpoint. So how are you doing there? And the last one, I love creating, building, and maintaining exceptional relationships with friends, families, clients, and the world. This is where we're gonna get into the challenge. Having the mindset of creating, building, and maintaining exceptional relationships is key. Creating is all about creating the relationship, right? That's just creating new relationships. Sometimes you gotta rekindle a relationship, right? We'll talk about that here in a minute. Building is that earning trust, earning clients, educating people, right? As you build, you're educating. You're taking that level of likability and trust and you're just stacking on it and stacking on it and stacking on it. One of the things that I loved doing, and you can use this, is that I love making promises. I used to love making promises to people like, I promise to get back to you tomorrow. I promise to get this information and send it to you. And then you keep that promise. You wanna build trust? Make promises and keep them. Be impeccable with your word. One of the four agreements. It is an amazing tool to help you out. And then maintaining, maintaining the relationship. This is where a lot of people fall short, right? In real estate, we'll use this as the example again. You help somebody get into a home, they buy the home, and then you never talk to them again. You never hear from the real estate agent again, they never stay in touch, they never check in with you, they're gone. And then three, four, five years later, they sell the house with another agent. It's because they didn't maintain the relationship. You've already put all this time and effort, you've built this connection with somebody, and then you just let it go. What about your family members? What about your mom, dad, grandparents? What about aunt, uncles? When was the last time you talked to them? Maintaining the relationship. This is something you do every day. This is something that should be on your priority list. This is something that you should know your numbers for. Where could you do better in your relationships? In any of the relationships? Think about friends, family, clients in the world. You're only as good as your closest relationship. How you do one thing is how you do everything. Because magic happens when you've got exceptional relationships in your life and you're constantly building them and working through them. So here's your challenge. Here's your challenge. This is a big challenge. This challenge will make a huge difference. And this is not something you're gonna be able to do in one day. This is going to be one of those challenges that you do over the next 90 days, six months, like I don't know how long it's gonna take you. If you choose to accept this challenge, you will get better at relationships. It's called the cell phone challenge. Do you have one of those? Do you have a cell phone? I bet you do. Your cell phone is the most, I don't even have mine on me. The cell phone is the most powerful tool in your arsenal because it has relationships in there. It has relationships that you should probably delete. It has relationships that you probably should maintain. It has relationships that want to do business with you. When was the last time you cleaned up, set up, and level up your phone? Here's how it works, okay? What you're gonna do is you are going to get your phone and you're gonna start with either A or you're gonna start with Z. And you're gonna go through each contact, each relationship in your phone. Here are the rules of engagement. So let's just say you start with Z because I like to do the opposite of what everybody else thinks. Somebody once told me, if you want more than what everyone else has, do the opposite. Do the opposite of what the 95% of people are doing, right? And 95% of people are not creating, building, and maintaining relationships. And most people would start with, did you see that catch? Cat-like reflexes. Most people will start with A. I like to start with Z. There's a few reasons why, but you start with Z and you look at that contact, and there's a couple options that you have. One, I want you to call or text or social message every single person in order. Here's why. Because there are conversations that you need to have within there. You need to get into the habit of creating, building, and maintaining relationships. And the most powerful relationships are your sphere of influence, the people that already know, like, and trust you. There's also some relationships that you need to delete. So if you pull up the name and you look at it and you don't know who they are, you could call them if you want or delete it. If you're not willing to call the person, they should just be removed from your phone. Clean it up, clean up your life, give the space. See what happens is when you start cleaning up relationships, you're telling the universe that you want new relationships. You're allowing the opportunity for new relationships to come into your life. So you're either going to delete it 
or you're gonna call it. And here's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna call and say hello and have a conversation. There is no big long drawn out script. There is no strategy. Like we're just talking about creating, building and maintaining relationships. So depending on the person depends on the conversation you're gonna have. If it's business, if it's family, if it's friend, if it's somebody from high school that you haven't talked to in years and you're like, oh my gosh, like this person, I haven't talked to him in three years. Why would I call him? But you wanna call him and see, excuse me, how they're doing. I did this in my real estate business and it worked fantastically. Like I literally just called people to check in and see how they're doing, say hello. Curiosity is key here. I want you to write down the word curious because curiosity is what's gonna help you through this. You're just curious, right? You're, you're, you've, you've accepted a challenge. This challenge will change your life if you do it. And you're gonna call people and say hi. Hey, how are you doing, Zach? Oh, I'm doing great, cool. We haven't talked in a long time. And I mean, I, honestly, like one of the things I would even do is be like, you know, one of the things I'm doing is this cell phone challenge and I'm just going through my cell phone. I'm cleaning it up and I realize that I haven't talked to you in a long time and so I wanted to check in and say hi and see how you're doing. How's the family? How's the kids? How's school? Like, it really depends on the person. And then just let the conversation go. Continue to ask questions from a curious place. Learn more about them, see how they're doing. Now, what do you think will happen when you call somebody, even if it's been a long time, and you ask them how they're doing, and then you got to dive deeper, oh wow, that sounds amazing, like, tell me more about that. Tell me more about this. I would love to hear about that, like, wow, you went, you traveled where? That seems pretty cool, what was that experience like? By asking these questions, you're building likability and trust all over again. What do you think is going to happen? I know what you're thinking. They're going to ask you, how are you doing? This is a great opportunity for you to share that. However it is that you're doing, you know what? I'm doing this 10 day challenge. It's been kind of cool. Or I'm in this personal development or I just started this business or you know what? Like I'm doing great. Or, this is your opportunity to share. See the cell phone challenge is not for you to get sales, which you may, you most likely will if you do the whole thing and grow your business. It's about the relationships because the more powerful relationships you have, the more power your life can grow. The more opportunities. There's opportunities that we don't even know exist until you start creating, building, maintaining these relationships. The other thing is there's a lot of relationships you just need to get rid of. The other thing is there's some relationships that you need to have that conversation. That family member that you haven't talked to because there's some sort of issue right? As you're going through your phone, you're going to either delete it, you're going to call, text, email, like whatever it is to reach out to them. When you get to somebody and you're afraid to call that person because you know you need to have that conversation, have the conversation, make the call. Like I'm, I'm dead serious here. This is something that's really important for your growth is that if there is a conversation that needs to be had that you've been holding on to for five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, make that call. Do it at that moment. Set yourself a goal to have 10 conversations a day. Go through 10 conversations a day. Now, as an entrepreneur, it's extremely important that you have a contact relationship management program. So if you have a CRM, have that open while you're doing this. Make sure that you input. If somebody may do business with you in the future, right? Using real estate as an example, if it's a homeowner, they're doing business with me in the future whether they know it or not. Now, I don't know when, but if I think they're gonna ever do business with me, they go into the CRM and leave notes. Leave a description of how it went and always have a what to do next because now you're gonna invest all this time and energy in doing this. Let's do it right. Let's do it right. My, one of my mentors and coaches, uh, Charlie Caldwell, talks about clean up, set up, level up, right? We're cleaning up and then we're going to set it up for success. Don't worry about having the perfect script, the perfect drip campaign. What do I like? What do I do next? That's when leveling up comes in is that if you do this, you'll figure out what that is. But so many people get caught up in this process of like, I got to do all these things and I have to have this set up. No, you need to talk to people. That's the most important thing you can do every single day is to be talking to people, period. If there was one habit you worked on in the next 90 days, that would be it. 
I'm extremely passionate about relationships because I know the power of it. I know the power of scaling these things to a 10 if you can, eight, nine, 10. What needs to happen for you to improve all of these areas? What needs to happen for your six to get to a seven or an eight? What needs to happen to do the cell phone challenge? What needs to happen for you to grow is that you need to believe. I believe in you. I believe in relationships. I believe in communication. Create, build, and maintain relationships every single day and watch your business grow over time. I love you guys. Tomorrow we're gonna to talk about knowing your numbers. Knowing your numbers in all areas, like this is a huge thing. We've spent a lot of time and mindset and focus and challenges and you know where you wanna go. Sometimes we need to talk about the ones and twos because what's trackable is measurable and what's measurable you can work on and grow even farther. Now we're gonna start talking about how do you double your business? How do you triple your business? What does that look like? Tomorrow and knowing your numbers. You guys, don't forget the cell phone challenge, accept it. Actually, you know what I really want you to do is I want you to do a post about it. I want you to commit to the cell phone challenge. Do a post, go call 10 people, do a post about how it feels, how it went, what kind of conversations you had, and do hashtag cell phone challenge, hashtag experience your day, hashtag AJ's awesome, <laughs> whatever it is you wanna do. Commit to these challenges and just watch what happens. Love you guys, look forward to talking to you soon, have a great day.